Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Bod, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. How are you? I'm terrific. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad you're here. I want my audience to know that Dr. Deepak Bod is the Executive Director of Interventional Cardiovascular Program, and he's a professor at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Bod, you're here to talk about that uh, uh, heart attack and stroke is the number one cause of death for men and women. Could you give me some idea of, of why that is such a real statistic? Yeah, it's a great question, and it's important to remember, despite all the advances in medicine, heart disease remains the number one killer in the United States and worldwide, for that matter. And there's some things we can do, some basic stuff, like adopt a better diet, and that's largely a plant-based, whole food-type diet, and exercise more regularly, include vigorous physical activity in our daily routines. But beyond that, there are risk factors for heart disease that increase the risk, things like high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, and high cholesterol. And now what we've learned in our most recent research from a trial called Reduce It is that elevated triglycerides, that's another type of fat in the blood, a little bit different from cholesterol, are also a risk factor for heart disease, but we can do something about it with a prescription medication that we studied in that trial called icosapentethyl. Okay, so medication is the way to deal with it, and there is not any natural things we should do? You listed all of them. <laughs> sure. So you always want to start with the simple stuff, though it's not always that simple, like watching a good diet and making sure there's not too much uh, unhealthy food in the diet. And, and the data suggests probably the healthiest diet is a whole food plant-based diet, so a diet high in fruits and vegetables and whole grains. And on top of that, regular daily physical activity more vigorous exercise is better, but even just brisk walking is better than nothing. But in people that are doing those things and still have elevated triglycerides, they're historically the only medicine that's been somewhat useful have been statins, which lower cholesterol quite effectively, but can have a little bit of an effect on triglycerides. But what we've found now is a medicine that lowers triglycerides specifically, a prescription medicine, a prescription omega-3 fatty acid, also reduces the risk of heart attack and stroke and dying from those causes by about 30%. So we're talking about a pretty big effect as well. Okay, is that why doctors are now prescribing us to take like fish oil tablets? That may not be what we're talking about, but that, that type of medication is supposed to help us? Or well, I don't even know why we're taking fish oil. <laughs> now, I'm really glad you asked that question because there's a lot of confusion among healthy people, among patients, among doctors about that. So there are lots of fish oil supplements. You can go into a store and buy one, but the problem is those haven't ever been shown to be useful to reduce heart attack and stroke. But what we're talking about here is a prescription medication. Uh, it is derived from fish. It's an omega-3 fatty acid, but it's a highly purified version of icosapentaenoic acid, or EPA. It's a type of omega-3 fatty acid. So to get it, you'd have to get a prescription, which means you have to go to the doctor. So this isn't something where you can buy it just in the local health food store and get a supplement, you have to go to the doctor, which is a good thing because you want to go to the doctor because the goal is to not just look at whether you're eligible for this medicine, that's important too, but to see, you know, is the cholesterol high, is the blood pressure high, are there other things that are out of whack that could raise the risk for heart disease. But now adding to that list is also having a measurement of the triglyceride level. Okay, tell me about Viscepa. Can you tell me that? Sure. So that is the uh, trade name for what I've been calling icosapentethyl, but it is a prescription medicine, and it was just approved by the FDA to reduce cardiovascular risk in things like heart attacks and strokes in people that have elevated triglycerides and have either established cardiovascular disease, and by that I mean problems in the circulation to the heart, circulation to the brain, circulation to the legs, or people with diabetes and additional cardiovascular risk factors. So those sorts of people that we studied in this large trial called Reduce It were found to have a significant benefit. In fact, the people from the U.S. that were in that trial had a 30% lower risk of dying if they had gotten the icosapentethyl uh, versus a placebo. So this is a pretty big advance, probably the biggest thing since statins came out about 25 years ago and were shown to reduce not just cholesterol levels, but the risk of heart attack as well. 
This is fascinating, Doctor. It really is. There's so much information being thrown at us, and there's so much information that's accessible to us. Where do we go? Do we go to our primary physicians, or do we go to our cardiologist to get an understanding of uh, uh, alcohol and Vescapa? You called it something else. <laughs> sure. No, you're right. And, and, and that's a terrific question. So I would say for most, many people don't have a cardiologist. If you do have a cardiologist, it must mean you already have heart disease. And there I'd say definitely talk to your cardiologist and say, hey, you know, what are my triglycerides? Are they high? Should they be treated with this new medication? But for people that don't have a cardiologist, these results may also apply, and there it would be a matter of talking to your primary care physician and saying, hopefully people know their cholesterol level. If they don't know that, they should find that out. But then the same test that measures cholesterol also measures triglycerides, so they should ask and know what's their triglyceride level, and their doctor can tell them. And if it's elevated, and it doesn't even have to be super elevated, the patients that we studied had really just modestly elevated triglycerides. Uh, if they've got triglycerides in that range and have other sorts of risk factors that I mentioned, they might be eligible for this prescription medication. So really, next best stop, primary care physician. Any place online for them to go and get more information? Sure. So uh, if they wanted real details about the study, we did reduce it about this drug. They were published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So you could go to the New England Journal of Medicine website and look up the Reduce It trial and this drug Icosapentethyl or the FDA website. The drug was just approved back in December for patients like the ones I just mentioned. So there's a lot of information out there on this drug. Dr. Barrett, you have been one of my best interviews so far in 2020 because you're talking about something relative, and I think you even made it make sense for us. So I want to thank you for that. Oh, thank you so much. Great questions. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit Credit Help tx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely.